The evolution of scouting cameras is something that continues to amaze me, but I really, at the end of the day, shouldn't be that amazed by it because it's hunters, people in the field that are helping to drive that innovation, the feedback they give to companies like Stealth Cam on what they'd like to see next. And the, the Revolvers 360 that has come out by Stealth Cam is one of those evolutions that I would have said 10 years ago was mind boggling, but I would have said 10 years ago, I would have loved to have had this technology. As I look at this technology in this particular unit, you can see 360 degrees of motion detectors up top. So anytime you get motion in one of those ranges, the camera is gonna focus on taking a picture of that specific zone. What that gives you is intel on the direction game's coming. For instance, uh, you've got four or five trails coming in. You can't one camera that's focused on one trail. You're missing the other trails. Now you've got build, the ability to cover that. Think about food plots when you're wanting to get photos from different angles and different positions of things that are moving around out there. You've got you know pigs destroying one end of it. You're trying to figure out how they're getting in and out of that area. Now you can work around that and figure it out and dial it in. You also have the ability to shoot photos and videos with this. You can set it up in burst mode, just like all the great uh, stealth cam models that are available. And it's all controlled by your Command Pro app. That app is so dynamic. It's something I'm absolutely addicted to, far better than anything you're gonna find on social media, because this is all about what you love to do in the outdoors. You can go to that app, you can control your cameras, you can look at what's happening all the time. And with this Revolver 360, you can actually get on-demand coverage from your exact location where you're putting your camera out. Speaking of the Command Pro app, that's basically how you're gonna operate this in any of the Stealth Cam cameras that are using uh, you know, cell type coverage. You basically open the door up, you've already got the app downloaded on your phone, you scan the QR code, and it's gonna help you set it up exactly as you're wanting in the field. And when you're at home, or you're at work, or you're traveling somewhere, you can also go in and adjust and, uh, and change your settings at any given time to match exactly what you're wanting to see out in the field at whatever location that you've got it set to. Another great feature of this camera is it uses AT&T and Verizon, and it picks the best cell coverage signal that it's going to find. So when you go out into the field, it's going to pick the most powerful signal for that area and it's going to immediately connect to that carrier to provide great coverage while you're out in the field to allow you to get all those pictures and videos that you're wanting to get wherever you're going to be at. It's just amazing what's happening. And hunters are driving that. They're sharing information of what they'd like to see. And that's what's been so key in the development of all the models out there. When you, when you look around at how Stealth Cam has evolved from the old 35 millimeter days to our days now where we're gonna have 360 degree coverage, on-demand ability to look in on fields, the ability to watch it all go down on your phone and monitor whether you've got places in Oklahoma, Texas, Kansas, Kentucky, wherever it may be at a fingertip, it just gives you so much data as a game manager, as a hunter, as a conservationist, and as people that just wanna know what's happening out in the field at their fingertips at any given time.